What did I do? <laughs> I bought somebody's death pile. Come on, Bobby, what are you doing? <sighs> anyway, somebody that I've known for a while ran into a yard sale a week or so ago, I think last weekend, said they had some video game stuff, didn't have time to mess with it, but they wanted me to look at them. So I went over to look at them this morning and there wasn't a lot of video games. There's some PC games, role playing stuff. Um, but yeah, $240 later, I bought her death pile. So we're going to get into it and stay tuned, get you a drink and get tuned because I have five Ikea bags, a couple of boxes and blankets. And I think I have some San Marcos blankets, but they ripped the tag off. So we'll get started. Um, some of this stuff is just accessories for these, uh, meat grinders, and I've got all the accessories, so like Kevin, Commonwealth Flipper Picker, I'm gonna part that out, and again, this is all 240, all inclusive, everything you're gonna see, and I'm gonna try to go through it as quickly as I can. Some of this stuff I just grabbed because they may not have any value like this, but I got grandkids, so what doesn't sell will go to grandkids, and what isn't a value. Um, yep, yep. That was thrown in. Um, and this is a box of, looks like doll shoes. And there's a bunch of this kind of stuff that's vintage. I don't know what this stuff's worth. But what I typically do with this kind of stuff is lot it up. Um, there's some sheepskin boots. Not my size, of course. Um, cowgirl hats. Stuff like that. Accessories. And so I will lot that up. Um, there was a bunch of like kids medicines and stuff like that, that I grabbed moisturizers. Um, she was going to donate it. So I grabbed it. Uh, I got plenty of grandkids. Like I said, this I paid as part of that deal and it's Ninja Turtles. And I do, if anybody knows, let me know what this is. I don't know what it, I didn't look to see the year or anything. I didn't look a lot of this up again. Some of this stuff I take chances on, but it's some kind of a castle or village. Um, that goes with Ninja Turtles, and let's see. Oh, it's not very old, it's 2013, but there's four boxes of this, and Ninja Turtle stuff usually sells for pretty good money, but apparently it's not vintage, so. A um, couple of wrestling figures, nothing crazy. 2013 as well. Two Starbucks mugs. Yep. Let's see what we got here. Uh, L.A. and San Francisco. Rice Aroni, the San Francisco treat. Yeah, I'm old. All right, plush. Um, there's a whole bag of plush. Peach. Um, is that Bowser? I believe. A lot of this is theme stuff. And again, the negative to this stuff is that they cut the tags off. Um, on some of it, some of it they didn't. Yoshi. I don't know if that, is that Five Nights at Freddy's or is that... Anyway, y'all tell me. If you're an expert at this stuff, tell me. I know that's Angry Birds. Again, mushroom head. Oh, I'm in the kitchen, by the way. I'll take these glasses off. Um, there's some other stuff in here. I know that's a Care Bear, huge Care Bear. Um, another Bowser. There's a bunch of Mickey Mouse and other stuff in there. I don't know what this goes to. Somebody tell me. And he's a talking one, so uh, y'all let me know on that. That whole bag's full of plush. Oh, oh God. Vineyard's Vine hat. Um, a bunch of different makeups. There's a bunch of Mary Kay mirrors and makeups. And uh, yeah, just all kinds of sample makeups. Mary Kay and other brands. And I've got bags and bags of this stuff. Um, a lot of these, these are all Mary Kay. And again, I know what that stuff's worth because I've sold a lot of it. Um, there's pads and makeup and medicines. Um, I don't know what the heck that is. There's an Oakley backpack in here. Magic moves, hop like a frog. I didn't mean literally. Um, 
spin facial. There's an Oakley backpack. There's some Oakley. I know that's worth probably 40 bucks. Um, there's some purses. Um, hell, Bobby, I can't read it. Oh, you see it. Um, all right, it's brand new too, by the way. Still can't read it. Oh, is it Isabella, Isabella Adams? Again, y'all tell me, I don't know. Um, this binder is full of mainly PC role-playing games and some CDs, m and I saw Limp Biscuit, some of that stuff, but um, Lord of the Rings, um, Shadow Bane, Chaos Kate, there's some more Hammer Child Wars, um, Warcraft, I know that's not very valuable. Uh, I know I saw an anime themed one. Dark Omen. And again, I got to look all these up. That's what takes time. Legend of Mana. Um, I think that might be have some value. Whew. All right. I'm going to come down here in a second and show you this stuff. Oh, my God. Yeah. Oh, my God. All right. Timco vintage jacket. In very good condition with a fur collar. That's part of it. Two blankets, and I believe these are, and I'll look them up to make sure, but their tags have been cut. This one's got an eagle on it. I believe these are San Marcos. If not, I'm prepared for winter, right? Not like I don't have enough blankets already. This one is really cool. It's got the horses on it. I hope y'all can see that. <laughs> I'm only five foot eight, folks. Come on. Three bags to go. Titleist uh, irons, and these are a Cusnet or Cusnet. Anyway, it's a set of irons. That was a part of the deal. The Titleist are pretty good in just about anything. Of course, I'm dragging all this to my kitchen to show you because I don't have room in my eBay room to throw stuff out. Um, sharper image, it's like a nose thing. I mean, it's not like men have nose hair, right? Um, some dolls. Um, these look like probably McDonald's or something. Oh, this one is, oh, there you go. Uh, note, Hunchback of Notre Dame and Hunchback of Notre Dame. They're new in the bag. Um, Another hair clipper thing that's open. Norelco all-in-one trimmer. I know those are high dollar new. Um, spade, Kate Spade. Um, whatever that is. Again, folks, I bought the death pile. Um, a Bluetooth speaker, that's probably Amazon type crap. Um, I say crap. That's pretty cool, but it's plastic. So, probably not a lot of value. Um, that was a cool little sign. Again, I'm sure it's not very valuable, but the Beatles, Abbey Road. Um, this might have a little value. It's an old 1992 set. You got Cunningham, Marino, Kelly, and Elway. So, I don't know about that. Um, I got a bunch of these, like eight of them, and perfect timing. They're just light markers for your house. Um, some books, California Raisin. Here is a picket slide rule with a case. That could have some value. Those typically can be valuable. Uh, back brace, I need that today. This, I saw at Disney World. It's the Harry Potter wand. Those go for about 50 bucks. I don't know. I haven't looked them up lately because I haven't found one. Um, game box, whatever that is. Build and grow. Um, that's a bottle. So I got a six-month-old granddaughter. Guess who's getting that? Um, 
two Xbox 360s, a red Wii, a bunch of controllers. The Xbox 360 controllers are going to be worth some money. I've got several of those. I've got to connect. The Xbox 360s I really don't care about as the same with the Wii's, but you know what? They're not worth a lot right now, so I'm good. There you go. That's a multimeter. I got, like I said, two Xbox 360s. She said one worked for sure. She wasn't sure about the other, but I got a ton of controllers. <laughs> uh, vintage, TG and Y, and I've heard people talk about these. Vintage U panties, satin panties. TG and Y was a store that was around Oklahoma and I'm sure other places. I think I've got a few pair of these, but satin panties, they could be a hundred dollars. I mean, I haven't looked them up, so I don't know. There's some wallets in here, some vintage pinnacle Disney themed golf balls. I guess I should get closer, right? Yeah. Okay. And then some wallets. This one is a Kate Spade. And I don't know what this one is. I don't care a wallet, so I don't really care. That'll be resale. Um, gotta be careful with this. Laser tag. Probably not a lot of value, I don't know. This is a golf, I mean a golf, pull cue. But it was really ornate, and I, again, I didn't look it up, but it has and I know some golf why do I keep saying golf? Pull cues have value um, and I'm going to try to read this because I dropped my glasses and I can't find them um, X-L-A-N-T-E professional okay somebody look that up and tell me in the comments before i can get to it um ah. jvc or jbl home speaker for your tv um yeah teddy ruxpin and he works if i can figure out how to hi Yep, there you go. That's what his name is, and he's sticking to it. Whew. By the time I'm done with this video, now that I'm going to be wore out, I'm going to be dead. Um, a bunch of these Wii's and Xbox controllers. I know those are like 25 bucks a piece. I got several of those. I got some motion for controllers. Um, I got some Wii. Um... You get uh, one, uh, controllers, this vintage McDonald's, Ronald McDonald doll, an old Dick Tracy doll. And again, there's a lot of stuff in here. Um, I don't know what this is. It's an Apple something or another. Um, a robot and comes with some tapes and stuff. Uh, quick start guide for him. Uh, Alp, Alfie. Yeah. Um, Star Wars cards. And these are Dogabah, The Force is With You. And it's a whole box of those. I also got some from another deal. Um, I got a bunch of video games. I won't go through them all, but... There's not a ton of them that are worth a lot of money. Um, there's some real common stuff. Again, pink Xbox controller. Um, those are worth some money. A Connect. That's about 40 bucks. Last bag. Um, clothes. I don't, I don't know what that. A Vinci. A Ventura, it was 69 new and it still got the tag on it. So, um, yeah, whatever that is. Um, these are Vagos brand new. 
kids pants yep that's what I'm talking about before I finish this I'm gonna come in closer all right um, that's a back brace brand new in the package um, you should tell me this book had value I, again I didn't look it up I'll let you do that buddy. Um, princess Barbie uh, in the box 1998 yep again y'all tell me I don't have a clue some Buckeye hats yeah Buckeyes all right um, Dallas cutlery knife don't know but if not I'll use it now this was kind of creepy to me she has a hat but <laughs> Y'all tell me what kind of doll that is, because I don't know. But she looks real. And, uh, yeah. You're a creepy kid. And I'm not raising no more children. So you gotta go. Um, this one was cool, too. Liza Bear, and it's a wood bear with wood feet and wood face. Again, no clue. And garlic press and then a Bose docking station with the remote and again I just sold a Bose wave radio but that's not going to be near the value and folks that's what I gave 240 bucks for tell me how I did talk to you later death pile be damn I just grew mine all right I'm going through some of this stuff and these two have never been colored in their 1988 California raisins uh, coloring books and three of these went just sold for 20 bucks, so maybe $15 for two of them. I'll take that. This, I looked up, it's 35 bucks. That's the Elway, Kelly Marino, and Randall Cunningham pieces. Uh, she's worth about 20 bucks from 1998. Uh, the bear with the wood face is about a $25, $30 deal. That's about 20, 30 bucks. This is about $25. Um, I'm still going through stuff. These vintage panties, they're you. New satin stretch lace, trimmed hipster, size five. There's three pair. I'm guessing these are probably $30 a pair. Um, you can see again, TG and Y there at the end. Uh, some red, white, and blue suspenders. Those are probably $10, $15. An Italian garlic press, probably not $10. The clothing I've been through, that's decent. That red wee looks like anywhere from $60 to $79. If I throw some games with it, I'd probably get a little more. I'm surprised because wees aren't that valuable right now. But, hey, it is what it is. I'm still going through this stuff, and I'll be back to you as I go through it. Oh, this is a 2017 red Teddy Ruxpin. That's $38, bucks, even from 2017, because he talks, and he's interactive. There you go. Kind of creepy though, huh? All right, did I have him on? Oh, there he goes. Hi, my hmm. name is Teddy Ruxpin. Can you and I be friends? I don't know, JT might get jealous. So, anyway. Uh, continuing on, oh, a rifle scope. I have not looked it up. Oh, it's for a daisy. It's a daisy rifle scope. Um, no, that's for a, <laughs> that's for the gun. Never mind. What's the scope? It doesn't feel like a quality scope. Looks like a cheap. Oh, it's daisy. Okay, it's a daisy BB gun scope. Probably not a lot of value, but I'll figure that. Oh, it's 1998. Yeah. So yeah, we'll figure that out, and I'll be back to you. All right, some more stuff that I got. I got a bunch of these. They're vintage. Flex on by, uh, was it Chrysler? And then there's some Vogue straps. They're all watch bands, but they're vintage and they're brand new in the package. They're Speedle, uh, yeah, Speedle, like Speedle catalog. There's another one. 
and I got a bunch of them. So that's part of this deal. And God, back then they were, <laughs> they were like $1.95. Here's one, a dollar at TG and Y. And I got a bunch of them. But the nice thing is they're all new. I got these spawn cards from 1990. Uh, well, they're from the 90s. And uh, yeah, I don't know what they're worth. Um, I got a bunch of Star Wars cards and they may not be worth anything. Um, but there's a box of them and these are I'm trying to see the year folks. 1997. And there's a whole box. There's probably, I don't know, 500 cards in this box. Dagobah. So I'll set those aside. I got several of these Sprint phones, these old vintage phones. I can get some pretty good money for some of these. These are the sliding ones. Um, I have sold those before. Um, some more of these Xbox remotes. That's a pretty nice remote, pink. So again, I know those are at least 25 a piece. I got a couple of Wii U uh, remotes. And these are cool. They're not marble, but they're some kind of a stone set of chess pieces in a box. Um, and I'm still going through this stuff. Some of the video games, I haven't looked that one up. May or may not be worth anything. Most of the video games aren't worth a lot of money. There's some other cards here. Haunted Mansion playing cards. Um, they're still sealed and they're Disney. Are they sealed? Maybe not. Maybe not. Um, Buena Vista Park. Hmm. I'll figure those out. Uh, I'm still going through stuff. I'll be back. 20 free shipping. I just looked it up. Um, a Gucci eyeglass case. Is it authentic? I don't know. But it's pretty scuffed up. Um... Oop, I'm spilling stuff. I got this Bose. It's a Model P1 Personal Music Center. And there's no cords, but if it's got value, I'll order the cords off Amazon. Um, one of these old Logitech Trackman marble things. I don't know anything about that. Some of the games. There's nothing crazy in here. There is a Masters game in here I know has some value. Any of that Tiger Woods Masters Golf Tournament stuff has got some good value. All right. I looked this up, and again, there it is. If this works, and I will be checking this out with the backlight, this is about a $240 to $60 item. So that would pay for everything. I paid $240 for all this stuff. If this works, I'm in the money just off that. I mean, minus fees. I won't be in profit, but I'll be close. Close enough because I'm gonna make a lot off some of this other stuff. Um, I'm still going through it. Dick Tracy. I don't know how that is, I didn't see a tag. Oh, here it is. Um, it's applause, so it's a vintage one. Applause is usually pretty old. And it is, oh, come on, come on. Well, I'll be back. Vintage Lynx, uh, Dallas Cutlery, and it looks like that goes for about 30 bucks. So there you go, another good item. I'll take all those I can get. I don't know what this is. Um, I guess I'm gonna have to look that up, but it's Apple, and it's some kind of adapter to something. So it's a telephone and a USB port. Um, it's a Airport Express base station. Who knew? Okay, next up, JBL SB100 soundbar, $69 to $89. And I'll check and make sure I may have the remote for that, so I gotta check it out. Um, Yes, that was an Xbox 360 I just knocked down. I'll be back. All right. 
tons of these little makeup brushes and there's a whole bag of those there's a bunch of uh tanning line stuff dimatap um still good um a lot of samples of looks like perfumes and lipsticks and uh it's all mary Kay. As you can see, that whole bag, and that's part of this deal too. Signature cream lipstick samples. Um, I know some of this satin hand stuff. I just sold a bunch of the little trial sizes. The bigger ones will sell for a little bit more. Um, digging through, trying to find some more of these. Oh God, what is this? Uh, <laughs> Again, more Mary Kay. Um, you can see there's a mixture of stuff in there. Uh, there's nail polishes, eyeliners, looks like shadows, and looks like pencils. What are these? Uh, that's, yeah, that's Mary Kay. Um, at play. Well, but I guess I'm assuming that's used if it's sharpened to any level. And again, I don't know about all these. This is a uh, cream eye color. I haven't comped any of this stuff because it's just, uh, <laughs> I haven't got that far yet, folks. I'm still making a video. Um, yeah. All Mary Kay. So there's a ton of it. Mary Kay vanilla mint creams. So I know that if that stuff's all new and it hasn't been used, that I'll make a ton off of Mary Kay. There's a bunch more Mary Kay. Um, again, these look like maybe trial size, uh, oh my goodness, what is that? Bold fluid eyeliners. And then here's a bunch of Mary Kay, uh, signature. These are eyeliners as well. And again, as long as they're new and not used, I should make a lot of money just off the Mary Kay. And we already know about a few of the other things. Uh, another purse. I'm trying to separate is what I'm doing. There's a map for a video game, Assassin's Creed 3, and any kind of accessory to a video game you're going to grab. Um, more Mary Kay. And I'm trying not to keep the video long, folks. I'm just trying to show you what I, what I bought in this death pile. Again, if this is new, it's probably got a little bit of value, but I'll check that out in a second. And some more... I don't know what, some kind of a, a humidifier bottle. I got two of those drive humidifier bottles. Probably not a lot of value there. Um, and then <laughs> I'll show you this. There's the rest of the makeup and some cough medicine and stuff. And again, if it's not out of date or close out of date, it'll still be good. But there's a bunch of it. And then there's all the video game stuff so far that I've sorted through. There's two Xbox 360s and a bunch of controllers and uh, nunchucks and all that kind of stuff. And I'm kind of creating a pile. This pile over here is not as valuable. It's all the watch bands. And I'm still not done. I still got more stuff to go get and dig through. Um, did I bite off more than I can chew? Maybe. Okay, this is a original doll by Johannes Zook. 1987 is written on the back of it. 1997, I'm sorry. But is that... Okay, I'm a little creeped out. But these look like they could go anywhere from about $30 up to as much as $150, depending on... She's a little chunko. She needs to kind of like stay off the... Need to eat more carrots and greens, girl. Not... not. Uh... Oh, heck, there I go talking to this dang doll. Come on, people. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed it. That's what I found today. That's what I spent 240 bucks on. I bought the death pile. And uh, now it's my death pile, and I got to get going because I don't even know where to start. Well, I do because that's the most valuable thing I found. So that's where I'm starting. Have a great day, folks.